I, today I'd like to tie for you a fly that was requested and that is a picket pin and the hook I have in the vise is a 3906B it is a size 8 the thread I'm going to use is black 6 aught 70 denier thread I'm going to start the thread at the eye I'm going to take this back to the bend and you can weight this fly if you would like put lead wire or lead free wire on it and this is a uh, this fly was invented by a man from uh, Missoula Montana he started tying flies around 1915 and we're gonna give it a try hope we do him justice and we're gonna stop the thread right about at the barb of the hook and remove the excess and we're going to start out with a tag and the tag is going to be gold tinsel and I have silver and gold tinsel and I'm going to tie it in I'm going to tie it in towards the back and I'm going to look at the gold side and I kind of want to tie this in a bit at an angle crossed over the uh, I'll put one right there we go so it'll help make a smoother transaction and I'm going to wrap the thread or I'm going to wrap the tinsel back depending on what size tinsel you have here I have about one eighth wide tinsel so I just need to go back maybe two wraps and then I'm going to go forward Oop. and I cut the thread in there and I'm going to bring it bring the thread back forward and I'm going to wrap it up the body away a little bit and the reason for this is just to ensure that I have a good tie down of the tinsel Make sure you keep tension on the thread and tinsel until you get it tied down. And I'm going to remove the excess. And I'm going to bring the thread back about halfway between the barb, the, the point and the barb. or where the barb used to be before I mashed it down yeah just a little bit more there we go that's fine and now I'm going to take brown it's my dog dreaming now I'm going to take brown hackle fibers for the tail and I'm going to tie them in right at that point there we go and I'm going to wrap this up and what I'm doing is building up a bit of a body here by tying the materials in and I had a long one and it will help to keep it keep the body somewhat a nice level shape you can see in the back here it's already a little bit heavy and now I'm going to take fine gold wire and this is going to be used for ribbing and I'm going to tie that in and I'm going to secure it all in and 
And now I'm going to take the brown hackle and I'm going to tie it in by the tip. You see I gave the tip a haircut there. And I have the uh, barbels stood up at a 90 degree. And I just want it. Come on. There we go. Catch that. Whoop. Came out. I don't want to tie down any of the standing barbels. Got one. Back it off. And now I'm going to take two peacock hurl. And these are long. They're probably seven to eight inches. I'm going to tie them right in. And I'm going to tie them in the length of the hook shank also. Be careful not to catch any of those standing hackle barbels. And I'm going to bring the thread right up to the top there. And I'm going to stop the thread oh, about two eye lengths in back of the eye of the hook. And now I'm going to take head cement or super glue and I'm going to put a small amount right on there and I'm going to wrap the peacock curl forward And when I get up to the thread, I'm going to tie them off. And I'm just going to leave them there. Because the head of this fly is peacock hurl also. So I'm going to put a couple wraps forward and bring them back. And tie them in. Now I'm going to take the hackle and I'm going to palmer it forward. And I stroke the feather, the all the hackle barbels towards the back. And you want pretty open wraps on this. So this is a pretty thick, soft hackle. And get to the front. get that complete wrap and now I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to bring it towards the back so we don't want to trap too many extra heckle barbels down kind of just give it a wiggle through there a couple of wraps and I'm going to put a couple of wraps right in front also Yeah, now I can remove the excess. Tidy up there just a bit. Put a wrap in back of the peacock curl just to keep them in place. Okay. And now I'm going to take the copper wire and I'm going to counter wrap it. And you give it a wiggle, get it through the Hackles. And there we go. And you want to keep those hackles going towards the back.
There we go. And I'm going to wrap it, an extra wrap right in front. And then I'm going to take the thread and tie it down. Now I can take the copper wire and twist it till that comes off. And now for the wing, I'm going to use gray squirrel tail. And I got my bunch, and I'm going to measure them up, and I want them to be just a little, about to the tail, the length of the tail. And I'm going to measure them up, and then I'm going to trim them. Now before I put them on, I'm going to put a drop of uh, head cement or super glue. Because squirrel tail is very slippery. It'll slip out of your thread very easily. And I'm going to tie them in right there, right on top. And I started out slower and then I tied them down tighter. Yeah, I got a few out the front there. I'm just going to trim them. There we go. Yeah, we're going to start forming the head here. There we go. And hold the thread there. And now once again I'm going to take the head cement and put another drop on there. And I kind of want to get this spread out a little bit. Now I'm going to take the peacock curl once again. And I'm going to wrap that for the head. Just three or four wraps, maybe five. Let me back that off there a bit. There we go. And secure that. Okay, now I'll get, remove that excess. And give it a whip finish. Pull that tight. And here we have the picket pen. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.